What is up guys, this is do work from OneHive 2.0 slash OneHive Invicta. Uh, I am here back with another hog rider series and today uh, I am with a clan uh, called Predominance. Uh, so far they have uh, 112 wins, uh, they're 100% fair play, they are halfway, just over halfway there uh, to level 9 clan. Uh, I've been here for actually, you know, quite a while. Uh, very good war log, as always. Uh, I will not bring you guys uh, weak clans, so uh, I'll let you take a look at that. Uh, one loss in that column right here. I think overall, um, I think they're like 100 and, 109 or 112 and maybe 8 losses or something like that. Uh, so I mean, these guys, uh, these guys definitely bring uh, bring the best out in you. Uh, they use uh, line for coordinating all their attacks. Uh, they claim their bases on there. Uh, they throw sketches out there. They plan together all online, uh, and then they put it to execution very well. Uh, so they are currently in a war. Uh, this is the war that I'm going to have to go off of with the the big update that came out yesterday. Uh, I am not able to show any replays uh, from their last war. There were a couple that I wanted to. Um, there were a couple, you know, pretty cool attacks in there. I thought you guys would like, but uh, I can't do that. This one has uh, quite a few as well. Uh, there, uh, there. I, I'm pretty sure Marius is their leader. Uh, no, he's not. I'm sorry. Uh, he's, he's one of the co-leaders, uh, but he took out uh, number eight here, and uh, I like this because it was uh, it was just a cold-blooded mass hog attack. Uh, th this clan that they're facing, this Colombian crew, uh, definitely uh, definitely did not have the best of bases. Uh, lots of forum bases. If it, everything on this base is symmetrical, so um, I mean. Yeah, I mean, he, the good old fashioned uh, goho, it works still, you know, to this day. Uh, and that's all he takes here. Uh, so he, he comes in up here at 12, easy AQ kill, um, gets a couple minions down, creates that funnel, uh, backs them up with a couple whiz. Golem's already down. Uh, here comes the king. Uh, he didn't even need a jump. Uh, he, I mean, he's just going to come in here, four heals. Um, the uh, the only thing he wanted out of that was uh, a couple defenses, but you know Archer Queen obviously, uh, and the CC was pretty much Lord. There's a, an extra Valk and uh, Archer in there. I think he missed, uh, but he still has the extra uh, the poison uh, with the new update. You can you know with the whole donating a um, a black a dark spell. Uh, he still has uh, a poison locked up in there. Uh, it looks like that Valk is already down, though. Uh, um, I think that was, those group of wizards over there pretty much took care of her. Uh, but, I mean, he even he saves his queen till the end for trash cleanup. I mean, um, he absolutely destroyed this base. Uh, still has probably close to, I don't know, maybe, 15, maybe 15, 20 hogs left. And uh, he's got his, his cleanup whiz down. They're over there with the, the I don't know, 9 o'clock working on all those those high HP storages. And uh, everything's down. It's all over but the crying. Uh, so I will go ahead and 2x this for you so you can see the 3. But he still, he still even has 4 wall busters left over. Just, you know, the swag wall busters. <laughs> Something new that I thought, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, next attack... Uh, number 16, uh, Perfect Storm. I wanted to show this base because I see this base a lot. This is a huge uh, forum base. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, people still use it, even though uh, I mean, it's just constantly getting three. They think, uh, you know, here or right here, they'll put a Tesla with a double giant bomb in between. They think they're fine. Uh, think again. Um, I mean, this base is just old news. He continues to get wrecked, and uh, that's exactly what Perfect Storm does here. 
Uh, so he comes in with a lure. Uh, he's going to drop his poison. I'm just fast forwarding through the poison because it usually takes upwards of, you know, 30 seconds. Uh, and then uh, he comes in over here at the, the 9 o'clock entry point. Mainly, he wants to clear out that, that section of defenses right there. Obviously, he wants to take out the AQ. Uh, but he comes in shattered here. Uh, two golems uh, for those that have uh, been playing in the dark for a while. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, he's going to throw his heroes behind him. Uh, and pretty soon, he will. he's going to start his... Um, it, his fluid motion of hog deployments. Uh, he had a little trouble here with his king walking. Uh, that's okay though. He does use his his archer queen's ability to take her out. That was the the important part here. Uh, and then he's going to start up at this twelve o'clock position, uh, and then just work this this uh, synchronous uh, clockwise motion. Uh, they wind up splitting there though. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if he meant to do that. Um, I'm assuming not, but then uh, he just drops the rest of his hogs on that corner for the, what little defenses he has last, left. Uh, he knows there's a giant bomb over there. It's always going to be there. Drops a heal ahead of time. Uh, hogs are perfectly fine. He's got that extra swag heal you get uh, in the clan castle now. Kill the rest of those skellies. Uh, and I mean, look at this. I'd have to say he's got like a full 30 hogs left on this. Uh, he just b b absolutely destroyed this base. Uh, and, and, you know, unfortunately people still use this base. So, I mean, that's an easy three. So, uh, perfect storm. Nailed it. Uh, hit it right on the head. And then got three for the team. Um, I will show uh, one more attack. This is a live war, so... Uh, if they do happen to go uh, on a live attack, I will catch that for you guys, but I uh, can't promise anything. Uh, next attack I want to show you is a Town Hall 8 by Peely. Uh, and this, uh, and you know, when I go visit clans, um, the most questions that I get come from Town Hall 8s. Uh, you know, how should I do this? How should I do that? And my answer is, I mean, just stick with it you know some sort of, of giant hogs or, or uh, a golem hog uh, it, you can you can hog any town hall 8 base uh, you have to find out you know obviously where you have to address the double giant bombs because you're only going to have one set at town hall 8 uh, but once you get through that one set you're perfectly fine uh, there's nothing else uh, that a town hall 8 can do to stop a hog attack. It's just too powerful. Uh, and I mean, he's already done. He's gonna, he's got two, uh, two sacrificial uh, balloons over there, but other than that, he's gonna just uh, kind of come in surgically on this, group up into the core, uh, heal in the core, and then, it, you know, it, it's all game over. Uh, he does bring hogs in the CC. Um, not entirely too... You know, I, I personally, I wouldn't have deployed the hogs that way. Uh, coming in from different angles at one time, you always want to keep that synchronous motion. Uh, but, the, I mean, he, his hog, like I was just saying, his hogs are just way too powerful. Level 4 hogs, Town Hall 8, will 3-star any any base. Uh, doesn't matter how you lay it out. You can put a double drive bomb in there or not. You know, you, your pick, but... Uh, and that just shows, even if you don't have the best of uh, hog deployment, which I mean, it, I'm not saying he did a bad job. Uh, I'm just saying I, I personally would not have deployed the hogs that way. Um, but I mean, he knew what he was doing. He still, you know, he still accomplished the job. He three starred him. Uh, and that just goes to show the power of hogs at Town Hall 8. Um, and I'm always preaching. Every clan I go to, I preach, preach, preach. Hogs, hogs, hogs. Town Hall 8. Uh, there is nothing stronger, uh, it, you know, in my opinion, hands down, there's absolutely not a, a, a single other attack that is stronger than Hogs. Uh, re and re really, I would say in the game, I, I've seen, uh, it's rare, but a couple of times I've seen uh, Town Hall 10s get 3 by Hogs, depending on the base layout. You got a crappy base layout, you're going to get Hogged. Uh, and Hogs are still the king uh, of Town Hall 9. Uh, so... 
uh, I mean, th there's your answer, fellas. Uh, hogs, uh, which uh, I do have uh, a little surprise for you guys coming up here in the future. Um, so hopefully you guys stay tuned and uh, maybe you'll get a little, uh, a little excitement out of these next couple of videos uh, here in the next week. But uh, back to the clan. Clan's name is Predominant. Uh, they do have a feeder clan. Uh, let's see. I think it's. I think it's like predominance two. No, that's not it. Uh, let's see if he went there. Uh, he's back. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure it's called predominance two. Uh, let me verify for you. But they do have. Uh, basically a, a, um, a tryout period. Here it is, predominance two. Uh, <clears throat> to where, I mean, you have to go down here, you're going to have to prove yourself. It, it is new. Uh, they just opened up their feeder clan. Uh, but, I mean, it's obviously for what it is. This is where they want to test people out uh, and try them out before war. Uh, so here, it, here it is one more time. I'll give you guys uh, all that information. Uh, there's their clan tag, uh, predominance, uh, invite only. Uh, let's you look at their war log again. Uh, only one loss so far uh, out of the last 50. So in the last 50, they are 49 and one. And if you notice that, they only lost by one. But look at the total base percentage: 92.2 to 89. So, I mean, that right there in and of itself is a heartbreaking loss uh, on many levels. It always hurts to only lose by one, uh, but it definitely stings a little bit more when you know you've had uh, a higher percentage uh, th than, you know, than the other team. Uh, right now, I think they're pretty close to, yes, they only have, a, they're pretty close to perfecting the nines. They only have one left. Uh, they're number 10. Uh, and they have two starred all but one of the, the Town Hall 10s. Uh, um, he showed a 68% though. Uh, I mean, that should have been a 2. Uh, but, I mean, 10s are just so tricky nowadays. I mean, you never know. Um, so, there's your clan. Uh, and hopefully I will get around to, uh, to you guys shortly. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, take care, fellas. Thank <laughs> you.